I'm back. Let's look at my screen. Good evening. How are you? So listen, I shared my um what was my recipe? What did I make? I made lasagna using eggplant and pecan meat. And it was really good. So I shared that with you all. But now I can say the one thing that I have truly missed since going vegan or plant-based, whatever you want to call it, is eggs, like boiled eggs. I love boiled eggs um, and deviled eggs. So during the holiday time, I made deviled eggs and I took them to a friend's house and I made some for Janae. And I really was like, dang, I wish I could have a deviled egg. So then I came across this recipe. I had to try it. So I'm trying it and I'm trying to hear with y'all. So listen, so what it did is it took white mushroom caps like this the white mushrooms and it called for them to soak in pickle juice yep i said it, pickle juice so I, these must soak in pickle juice i'm gonna take them out and sit them on the napkin on this plate here and it's just a, a white mushroom i took the ends off rinsed them off and put them in this pickle juice i have more i think i got about four more in there but i wanted to try it first so I'm going to put these on this napkin and kind of let them drain. Move that out of the way. So, for the base, right, what would be the eggs inside the yolk, it used chickpeas. Chickpeas, garbanzo beans, whatever you want to call them. Right? I got them, I think, at Trader Joe's. So I'm going to put those in my food processor, my little ninja. I'm gonna put that in here and I got some I think I should blend them up first let me do that let me blend that up first oh my black salt I need some black salt let me put some of this in there and black salt is very it's like a powder and it gives things like um it smells like eggs is what it smells like and it gives things a um a eggy kind of flavor remind me it tastes like eggs so let me see i'm gonna put that in there in my little ninja let's see if you can see on the video. some uh, salt and some pepper and some garlic powder. 
some mustard. I got to put mustard in my deviled eggs. Just a little bit. I put hot sauce in there too. Just a little bit. It's for the flavor. It's not spicy. You don't even know what's in there. You don't even know what's in there. Some pepper. Some regular salt. Just a little bit. Sweet relish. Make sure I got sweet relish. I remember one time I made. What's I making? Was it deviled eggs? I think it was deviled eggs. And I made a mistake and picked up dill relish. My grandma was like, What is this? What kind of relish did you get? I'm gonna need some more mayo. I didn't want it to get too watery. Okay. Look. I don't know if the light. Can you see it? Okay, let's see. Jesus, be a fence, Lord. some more mayo. I'm trying to use a little more relish. And I'm going to fill these little caps and we going to see what we got. That's good. That's real good. Okay. All right. We got our mushroom caps. Let me try to dry some of this. like a deviled egg. I think they call these heavenly eggs. Yeah. 
All right, one more. I think I'm gonna have to soak them other ones too. I ain't pull my pickles off. All right. We're gonna sprinkle it with a little paprika. Make it look all nice and pretty. And then we're gonna taste it. Let me put this stuff away real quick. really good it was really good let's see yeah mm. that is good that was really good. Mm. I think the pickle juice changed the flavor of the mushroom. It don't taste like a mushroom. It's supposed to be like the egg white. The um, that's good. That's really good. So, if you up for a challenge, try it. Let me know what you think. I will talk to you later. I'm gonna eat one more of these. I'm gonna put the rest of them mushrooms in this juice. And um, I don't know. That's it. Talk to y'all later. Bye.